What up everybody, Josh Hatter here. Today we're going to look at a deck that went 5-1 and one last night in Sunny's weekly number 102. Nick993 from Italy went 5-1 and one with Palkia Greninja V-Union. Yes, other V-Unions do exist. So, Live Canada gave us a weird deck layout, but we will look at it and talk about the deck list real quick. No game made today due to me having to have a job. I know, it'd be like that. But... We will go over this deck list the best we can and see how uh, how they got to this record and what they played against along the way. So, we're going to start with Origin Form Palkia V. Rule the region, search for a stadium, and then 200 for 3, and it can't attack next turn. Um, the reason you'd want to use a second attack is if your opponent has a full picks V-Star in their deck. Otherwise, we just kind of want to evolve it into Origin Form Palkia V-Star. It does subspace well. 60 plus 20 for each bench Pokemon to play. Yours and your opponents. And then those Star Portal... 1v power game, you may attach up to 3 water energy cards from a discard pile to your water pile in any way you like. Um, a Palkia V-Star League Battle Deck just came out, so make sure you check your local game store for that. It's a very good deck, comes with Greninja, Vort Battle VIP passes, Vort Eardas, among many, many other things. But let's see what we pair with this Palkia uh, before we get to the Greninja. So we got Suicune V, gorgeous looking card here. This is the Crown Zenith version. Um, it does fleet footed like all the dogs do. If this is active draw card, and it does a miniature version of Palkia's attack, Blizzard Rondo 20 plus 20 for each bench Pokemon in play, yours and your opponents. Um, this deck obviously won or did very well last season uh, with Ludicolo, and now it's you know creeping back in its Palkia deck, and I really love to see it. We got the one Radiant Greninja, only one of those in your deck anyway, so you got concealed cards, discarded energy. Draw two cards once during your turn, and obviously that pairs with Palkia, V-Star, and Melanie, which you'll see in a minute. So, we got a very good tech there, and Moonlight Shuriken, which can use. Discard two energy. It does 90 to two of your opponent's Pokemon, so you can Palkia onto it. Your opponent gets a soul starter. Your opponent's playing uh, Gardevoir. They didn't get a Manaphy down, you're like, and they only got two Ralts. You're like, I'm, I'm just going to win the game, basically, right now. And then they also played this Manaphy, not the Bench Barrier one. Um, Ocean Search of this Pokemon is your active Pokemon. Look at the top six, and Reveal the Pokemon, put in your hand. Very interesting. I remember these came out. People were kind of hyped on them. But the format did go in different ways. But it is really cool to see this place. And if you got it, you know what? Wave Splash for 30. So now let's go to the Greninja uh, V Union. So we're going to click around here. Uh, so you got Union Gate, which all V Unions have. Attached up to two waters to this Pokemon from a discard pile. Then we got... Uh, three abilities on this card, by the way. So we got Ninja Body. Whenever your opponent plays an item card from their hand, prevent all effects of that card done to this Pokemon. So if they were to, like, Crushing Hammer, um, it would not be able to do anything. And it does 130 for one. Then we got the Knee over here. Antidote Jutsu. It cannot be poisoned. And then the cool attack, Twister Shuriken. Does 100 damage to each of your opponent's opponent's Pokemon. So they don't have a uh, Mana Fee in play. Whew. You're going to be doing a lot of stuff there. And then we got the fourth part of the card. Another ability. Once you're in turn, you can just look at your opponent's hand. Which is actually really cool because you get to decide what you're doing. Like, all right, well, if they have a... Oh, they have a boss's order. Well, I don't want to bench this, you know, uh, Palkia this turn. Or, oh, they don't have anything. Oh, they're going to judge anyway. I don't want to waste a supporter. Then I'm just going to have my hand shuffle back anyway. If there's nothing crazy I need. And don't forget, the way to play V-Unions is you need all four pieces in that discard pile. Then you kind of do a cool graphic in real life whatever that would be and you put it into play uh looks fancy on your bench and then you just beat your opponent you can power up in one turn with palkia v star which is pretty neat and the last pokemon i almost forgot about but last but not least luminion v luminous sign when you play from your hand on your bench you get to search deck for support and put your hand and we can use aqua return 120 and shuffle it back into your deck move on to those trainer cards here these were in order yesterday Anyway, we got the two Iridas. Search your deck for a water Pokemon and an item. And put in your hand, obviously, kind of a staple in water decks. Um, they did only go two because they do, as you see, they got a plethora of other supporters in their deck. Different versions to do different things along. Other mill cards to get Greninja in the discard pile. But this is a very good card, obviously. You get whatever you want. A piece, a Palkia, any item you miss. You need that switch, you got it. And so on and so forth. Then we got the four tracking shoes. Look at the top card of deck. You may put that card into your hand. If you do not, discard that card and draw a card. So obviously, you see Greninja's knee. You're like, well, I don't really want it on my hand. You discard that. You draw. You put Greninja into play. Profit. Also, Professor Burnett 
Same concept there. Search your deck for up to two cards and put them in your discard pile. Now, mainly you would do Greninja pieces, but let's say it's a random part of the game and you have energy in play and you just got that Greninja out, but you don't really have any energy. You can burn it to water energy and then put it back into play and attack. Then we got the three switch. I obviously got to switch this Pokemon. I don't think it's stuck. Uh, we got two energy search. RIP Capacious Bucket, that card no longer in the format. So we are down to just regular inner search. Energy search, bring back Professor's Letter. Uh, then we got the one VIP pass. Uh, this is one of the, I was actually talking to some people about it at Portland. If you just go all VIP pass or you do like kind of this thing. Because there is the two ear to, um, to get it. But if you don't really hit it, uh, turn one it is useless. But you're only playing one. So it's not like too bad. Uh, I did play a few games with this. Uh, last night, and I would say it wasn't really missed because you did just kind of draw on your Pokemon with your other ways to get them, as you can see there. Then for our stadium, we got Pokestop. Once you get turn, that player may discard three cards out of their deck. If that player discard any items, put them in their hands. So remember, tools are not items, so you cannot hit Choice Belt, but more importantly, most importantly, it does put those Greninja pieces into your discard pile, and that's what we're looking to do. You got the one boss's order, bring up a Pokemon, get that knockout. You got the four Ultra Ball, obviously discard those pieces, but also helps us search out our Pokemon, mainly this Palkia. Then you got the Roxanne, obviously your opponent thinks they're doing really good, they're lost, like, so I got 12 cards, man. No, you got two. You can use this card if your opponent has to your list prizes. Each player shovels behind their deck. You draw six, they draw two. Then we got three Melanie, staple and water V-based decks. Attach your water energy from your ball to one of your Pokemon V, and if you do, draw three cards. So you're going to attach to your Palkia, Luminion, and Suicune, and Greninja, and draw those three cards. It's really good attack, uh, letting you attack turn one with Suicune if you can, if you're going second. You know, you discard there, you attach, your Melanie, get more Pokemon to play, you draw that card. You're knocking out their random basic, whatever that might be. And then we got two Serena, two effects on this card. Discard the three cards from your hand. Join so you have five. You must discard at least one card to be able to use this. And then switch one of your opponent's Pokemon V. So it actually is more than one use in this deck to discard Greninja pieces, but also bring up those Vs to finish them off. Then we got the one choice belt. Do 30 more to Vs, obviously. Pretty self-explanatory there. You gotta hit that math. We got the two professors research. Um, discard your hand, draw seven. Pretty simple there. There's only two because you have all the other cards like Melanie and Irida, so you didn't go they did not go four. Which makes a lot of sense to me. We got the one escape rope. Still got a switch. Got a lot of switch cards. Uh, There's a game where someone opened a clef key. And I had a Suicune. And thankfully I had that escape rope. And was able to do anything. And then we ran out the trainers with the three nest ball. Get those basics. Just remember it puts it directly on your bench. So unless you're being a little wacky there. Do not get Illuminion. Unless you're trying to be funny. And you know what? Go for it. And we ran out the deck with ten water energy. So I recently have fallen... Back in love with Palkia as a card. Um, had a few Palkia lists I was trying out with Vulpix or Kiram and stuff. And then I saw this last night and I always liked Greninja. And it's cool to see another V Union like being played or you know someone attempting to play it and not just going straight Mewtwo. Even though like the 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 gap of what's good is like Mewtwo, you know, blank the others. But it is really cool and uh, if you want to try a different V Union type deck, I would definitely suggest this. The deck list will be in the description, so you can easily copy and paste it into PTCG Live and get rolling there. Um, uh, I mean, I personally want to make any changes. They did really great with this deck list. At first, I was skeptical on the mana feat, but it ended up being really, really, really cool. And the fact that they didn't play Peonia kind of shows like it can still function as a Palkia deck. Um, without the Greninja, you're not relying on it. It's like your finisher, so you kind of can get it like turn 5 or 6 there, especially if you don't have to use your V-Star power really, really early. You can just put it in play and get going out of nowhere. But with that being said, um, I'm excited to play this deck more. Probably going to build it uh, in a physical form, not just digitally. Uh, in the tournament there, they beat three Gardevoirs, both Mew variants, and did take the L to Gudra, which I can see being a tough matchup there. As they don't have to have a lot of bench. But um, they did go 5-1 and one, like I said. So that was really good on them. Uh, Nick993. Appreciate you playing that. Uh, everyone should go give this a try for sure. Drop a like. Hit that subscribe button. 
Let me know what other decks you want to see. I know Pell Day Evolve is going to be coming out soon, and I am excited for that. Lots of decks going to come from that one. But this is the tea table. I'm Josh Hatter. That's a Greninja V Union, and I will see everybody next time on the tea table.